trivia game hosted by Alex Trebek that's been on the air since 1964. What is Jeopardy? Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Ava Gordy. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more stories. Having been on TV for over 50 years, Jeopardy has racked up a bunch of hilarious, ridiculous, and heartbreaking answers from contestants. And here are the top seven. Number one. Gangster or gangsta for 600, please? This whole list was made possible by the guy who said gangster instead of gangsta on the New Year's Day episode of Jeopardy. A song by Coolio from Dangerous Minds goes back in time to become a 1667 John Milton classic. Nick, what is Gangster's Paradise Lost? Yes. And just when he thought he won that question, Alex delivered some heartbreaking news. Our judges have reevaluated one of your responses a few moments ago, Nick. You said gangsters instead of gangstas on that song by Coolio. So we take 3,200 away from you, so you are now in second place. Jeopardy issued a statement on their website that said, quote, it turns out that gangsta and gangster are both listed separately in the Oxford English Dictionary, each with its own unique definition. Nick changed not only the song's title, but also its meaning, making his response unacceptable. Even Coolio spoke to TMZ and said, quote, the ER will always get you in trouble. Number two, first is the worst, second is the best. Max and Kevin went head to head answering which nation was the most populous given three options. Max was quick to the button, but did it pay off? Populous nation, 400. Israel, Lebanon, Syria. Max, what is Israel? No. Kevin, what is Syria? Right. Nation, 600. Switzerland, Sweden, Swaziland. Max, what is Switzerland? No, Kevin, what is Sweden? Right. Okay, now that was already a double bummer, but it gets worse. Nation, 800. Pakistan, Bangladesh, Indonesia. Max, what is Pakistan? No. Kevin, what is Indonesia? Yes. Most populous nation, 1,000. Portugal, Colombia, Peru. Max, what is Peru? No. <laughs> Kevin, what is Columbia? Right. <laughs> At that point, it's like embarrassing. I would never forget if that happened to me and neither would my friends and family. I would be ruined. Number three, a feel good story. Not all of these are disappointing. After realizing he didn't know the answer to the final question, Leonard Cooper wrote down a hilarious answer. He come up with Ike, Dwight David Eisenhower. No, I didn't. You didn't. Same guy, some guy in Norbit, but I just won for 75,000. <laughs> you did indeed. Way to go. Come on over here. That was the second day of competing for those three contestants on Jeopardy's teen tournament. And seeing as he was far ahead of the rest, he risked zero dollars and took home hella money. What's he gonna do with all that money? He said he would, quote, put some definitely in college, put it in the bank. I play the guitar, so I was going to buy a new guitar. Maybe some sound equipment, amps, all that. Possibly put some down on a car. Number four, the oddball. Austin Rogers was a bartender from New York City. He was also one of the most memorable contestants on Jeopardy because he was a little odd, the perfect amount of odd. And he walked with me onto the stage and I'm like, it's the llama. So I got that going for me, which is nice. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. Even James Corden was obsessed with him, calling Austin his new bae. Jeopardy champion, Austin Rogers. Have you seen this guy? His winning streak has totaled 10 days and $365,400. He's, he's amazing. But sadly, after winning 12 shows, he lost. But he lost with the most grace I've ever seen anyone lose. She did. 33,201. The new Jeopardy champion and the giant killer. Scarlet Sin. Now that's a good sport. I mean, he still took home over $400,000, so I guess, like, why wouldn't you be? Number five, more like artificial lack of intelligence, am I right? IBM's Watson computer faced off against two real-life people back in 2011. Supposedly, Watson is a, quote, question-answering machine, which I guess doesn't mean an answering every question correctly machine, because Watson hella f***ed up. Going into final 36,681, and the response was, what is... Toronto with a lot of question marks, which means, of course, that Watson had many, many doubts. Regardless, Watson ended up winning the entire competition because he's a robot, and those other two dudes were way far behind, and Watson didn't risk a lot because he's smart. Number six, yikes. In common law, the 
the age of this signaling adulthood is presumed to be 14 in boys and 12 in girls. Tom, what is the age of consent? Yikes! And finally, number seven, the sassy snap. Louis Vertel answered a double jeopardy question with the sassiest snap ever recorded on television. Arthur Miller thought 1690s Salem was relevant to 1950s America when he wrote this play. What is the crucible? You got it, and... The moment went viral on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook, and then we had him on our show. This show. What's trending? You do this consistently in your life. It wasn't just for this moment, like it came out of nowhere. Um, I do it both intentionally and unintentionally. Okay. Um, when I'm really competitive and I'm like winning at stuff, it's like, I won. You know what I mean? Like, you should be scared of me. I am scared, Lewis. You did that. So there you have it. The top seven Jeopardy moments curated by yours truly. What was your favorite? Which ones did we miss? Maybe we'll make a part two. I don't know. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more What's Trending. For more stories, go to whatstrending.com.